My name is Elizabeth Harry Sanka, and I'm the owner of Mobile Barber Co. I was always involved in many outreach programs. I had this idea of giving back, not ways such as food and clothing, but I wanted to give back in a different way. We wanted to create a mini bus salon that goes into the heart of communities and offer the service at no cost to the community. When we go to the salon and when we step out of there, we feel confident about ourselves. So that is what I wanted to give the underprivileged community. The mobile barber was birthed in 2019, but it was really financially challenging to run this great operation. I was introduced to uh, the operations leader in McDonald's and I shared my vision with him. Over the past two to three years, the country has been through many trials and tribulations, and that had brought in a, a heightened sense of awareness around us as McDonald's South Africa to elevate the platforms that we are doing in the communities. Together in Zanz is not a campaign. It's our DNA as McDonald's. It's a rallying call for everyone in South Africa to come together and use McDonald's as a conduit to do good. We partnered with McDonald's and from there on, we have five barbers. We have two vans at the moment. She's taken this uh, mobile barber around different communities and giving free haircuts to uh, kids on the street, uh, in orphanage homes, in old age homes, helping elderly people have an haircut and raise their level of dignity. They make us feel special. They make us feel human. Um, they're always friendly. They're always encouraging us. We, they're chatting with everybody. So, yeah, something to look forward to. I'm so blessed and grateful because this was a passion of mine. And to see this being fulfilled, it really brings joy to me. And to see the smile on people's faces, you know, after they received this haircut, that's what gives me the joy. I'm looking young. I'm looking young. So we select some very impactful causes that we can rally around. Together in Zanzi has now given us a platform to expand our reach across South Africa through the citizens of South Africa. We're using our scale of over 300 restaurants to touch all the communities that we can. For example, we've partnered with our value chain to come on board with us and supply these uh, vegetable seeds that help independent communities and schools come together to build their own vegetable garden and be self-sustaining. I'm teaching accounting and economic management sciences. I got involved in gardening because uh, I saw an opportunity for our learners, especially the entrepreneur part, because we teach entrepreneur in grade eight, nines, but they just learn it and they don't practice. In the past, here at school, they had a garden. I saw that it needs to be revived, but we must engage the learners. McDonald, help in buying seeds, having modernized beds, as you can see, this is top of the range. We learn from processes, like of planting a seed, turn it into a seedling, take it out from the tray, plant it onto the ground. What I love about gardening is I can take my time busy on gardening and then I can do more of teaching myself about gardening. The harvest, uh, for now, we took them to the old age home here in Tawaza. They were happy to say they're gonna eat something that is at least their favorite. I love the point where we are watering and where we are now putting in the seed after digging the soil. I like cabbage, I like cooking it. My dream is to have learners who will be self-sufficient in the future, who will know that uh, despite being unemployed, as long as you've got a land next to you, you can utilize that and that can also turn into your income. As McDonald's franchisees, we're always uh, innovating in, in, in our McDonald's restaurants. And a lot of what we have had to do in the last few years has been around digital. So a lot of digital transformation. You can order on uh, self-ordering kiosks which, you know, uh, in the restaurants, 
but we realize that a lot of the communities uh, we serve, a lot of these kids that go to school unfortunately do not have access to a, a computer. And we felt this is something that we could address and impact by virtue of us also servicing these communities as our customers, but also those communities are employed by us as well. We want to have classes that we can go to one school and maybe two schools in a day. So the bus is set up like a classroom. About 32 laptops get set up. The moderator facilitates from the front of the bus. I created this uh, computer basic course uh, that will cater for different age groups. We are currently uh, teaching basic computer skills to grade uh, three, four, five, six, and seven. We engaged the Department of Education. We engaged uh, CETA. Identified the school by Department of Education, which is Sekusile Primary in uh, Inanda. And for the last year, we've been at that school um, running the course. I love uh, actually developing young ones. Uh, there's quite more that we teach in this track, not basically the computer skills. We also teach about life skills. I like to search about information of cars and play soccer players. Now I learned how to type poem and creating images and designs. Our intention is to build on the first year to visit uh, up to six schools in the calendar year. Knowing that I'm doing something that's impacting their lives and giving more skills that will equip them for the future is an achievement and it also makes me grow as a facilitator, as an individual. McDonald's philosophy around diversity, equity and inclusion is to ensure that we give people an equal platform in our organization, particularly targeting individuals that are disabled to be part of our workforce. And so we recruit through JobAble. I've been working at McDonald's now. It's been five months now. I work at a drive through helping customers with their orders and helping them to download McDonald's app. I'm the principal of Alter the Toy School for severely intellectually disabled learners. Most of the children cannot read or write. Their emotional level are usually between three and five years old when they reach the age of 18. One of their biggest challenges is to fit into society. So we start off with the basics, make your bed. We do all these practical skills. They do uh, baking, they do woodwork, they do ancillary health help with the dishes at home, help in the gardens. So those basics are very important because not all the school leavers have grade 12. We have a problem in our special schools to connect our school leavers with job opportunities. I always get questions from parents, what do my children do after school? So that's our job able to start it. So that's an electronic platform. You upload your profile, the corporate companies upload the jobs available. I saw a post on a job abroad. Yes, I was nervous with the interview. It wasn't easy, and, uh, but I able to do it. Our first test run was actually with McDonald's job shadowing, and I just took it from there, and I said, by all means, let's try it. I went to the inclusivity training where it helped me understand on how to work with people with disabilities. We need to show them how to work on the stations. Like if they're working on cold drinks, you need to show them and make sure that they do understand. And also showing them how to wipe the tables. You need to understand that they take time to understand things when you're telling them. So you need to be patient with them. Learners with disabilities uh, in general uh, take a bit longer to master something. So what the program entails is that they go to McDonald's, they basically practice for a year what they need to be able to do. And if they get it right after a year, they get appointed. Uh, there are now this year 26 schools taking part in the Western Cape, Eastern Cape and Southern Cape in the job shadowing program. So we usually have about 40 learners taking part and between 8 and 12 appointments that come from that. Yes, I'm going to go back to gym because it's very nice there. It's wonderful working there. McDonald's are the leaders in this job able to initiative and as a result other companies are also coming on board now. 
it changed my life because I'm earning money, I'm able to feed my family, I'm not suffering anymore. My burnout changed my life a lot. I think what it means to them is they having self-worth and is that not what we're all looking for? To be productive members of society and to be accepted. We've seen South Africans rally together, whatever the need is. This is the spirit of South Africa. We, we come together in the time of our crisis and that's the beauty of our country. That's why there's no us without you uh, together in Zanzibar.